Newly recovered after being missing for 45 years, a classic Doctor Who adventure starring the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton. This special DVD release contains all six episodes, beautifully restored, five of which have been missing from the BBC archives since they were first broadcast in 1968. Story 4, The Enemy of the World, is... The TARDIS lands on an Australian beach in the 21st century, but this is no seaside holiday. Within minutes, the Doctor, Jamie, and Victoria are under attack. They soon discover that the Doctor bears a startling resemblance to leader Salamander, a would-be dictator intent on world domination. Before long, the Doctor and his companions are plunged into a dangerous game of espionage, intrigue, and deceit as they faced off against the enemy of the world. This serial was a nice break from all the alien and monster invasion stories, and this serial seemed to be more of a story for adults. It is clearly written for children, but the subject matter seemed more for adults. It is a political thriller about trying to find evidence that Salamander is evil and wants to control the world. The character of Salamander is quite energetic and intelligent, smooth and classy. Hitler, but more devious. It was great to see Patrick Troughton play someone else other than the Doctor, and perform very well and give the character a tough and serious accent. The cliffhangers at the end of the episodes were not like the cliffhangers before. No one is having their life threatened or the enemy is going to win if they press a button. Instead we had instead we had a will it work ending, a discovery of the good guys are what what the good guys are planning, and a revelation that the good guys discover. It seemed like a story that was put on hold uh, until the next episode because they ran out of time at the end of each one. It was interesting and made the ending of each episode a surprise because the first five episodes were just a build up to episode six. Um and episode six is just the payoff. It felt like a real movie. I liked it. Again, it was a break from all the other serials where each episode conti uh, continues uh, in the ne uh, where each episode continues the story and builds up to a cliffhanger at the end, where one is not sure if the enemy will win and or uh, if people will die. The only cliffhanger in the serial that felt like the uh, usual cliffhanger is the climactic ending of the sixth episode, where Salamander and the Doctor and his companions duel face to face in the TARDIS. The TARDIS is activated where the, with the doors open, and one is not too sure if our heroes will make it to the next serial, for this serial ends there. The overall story is a bit slow, but has a, has great thrills and close calls, and good fun to be had with a nice twist revelation about a character in Episode 6. Even though this is a political thriller, there is some science fiction in this, for the explanation for how Salamander is taking over the world delves into the science fiction realm. It is a bit over the top, but fits the story. It's just a little hard to swallow at first, but after a few minutes you accept it. I'm glad these episodes were found were made and made available. It was a surprise to see how crystal clear the restoration and cleaning process is when watching this. The serial is on DVD, but it looked like Blu-ray quality. This is probably due to the fact that, this, that the serial was filmed in a higher quality definition. Serials previous were filmed with a... Uh, 405 line technology. This serial and serials afterwards were filmed with 625 line technology in preparation for the color transmission for all BBC shows during January 1st, 1968. However, Doctor Who won't be in color until the era of the third Doctor starting with his first episode of his first serial. Out of five stars, I give this one four and a half stars. Slow progress is being made in finding missing episodes of Doctor Who but at least there is some progress. For another set of episodes were found that make up the next serial and I, that I will review called The Web of Fear. In this serial, the Yeti and the Great Intelligence return and a new character is introduced that will become an important character in Doctor Who for years to come. Although fans know him under a different title, which he will be promoted to later, but he is first introduced as Colonel Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.